What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger of a video today. We got ourselves a Life Orb Landorus alongside with a G-Max Butterfree team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. And I just wanted to apologize for the missed couple days of videos. I was out of town. I was actually on like a trip with a few of my friends. Had a good time. We were up uh, staying in like a house near mountainsides in the Poconos. If you guys know where that's at, that's exactly where we were at. We were at the Pocono Mountains. We rocked out. We had ourselves a good time. Took a little break, but now we are back on the grind. But shout out to my boy Swift VGC for dropping this team for me. This team is looking amazing, and I cannot wait to get after it. But Rocking out, first spot on it is Indeedee. Indeedee in that top left corner with a Citrus Berry and Synchronize. I probably maybe would have rather had a Psychic Surge on this, but still Synchronize is not bad for an Indeedee. We got Follow Me, Fake Out, Heal Pulse, and Psychic. Right next to him, we got Rhyperior over here. And Rhyperior is an absolute beast, especially we got Dust Clouds for a Trick Room. We got Rhyperior with Solid Rock, the Weakness Policy, EQ, Protect, Rock Slide, and Brick Break. Brick Break. Amazing moveset. For this thing, beyond the face cam, the dust cops, it can set up the trick room. We also got pain split with a wisp for physical attacking Pokemon, and then our coverage attacking move of Thunder Punch, obviously, Evo Light and Frisk as our ability. Landers right next to it, our life for Pokemon with Intimidate, and then we got EQ, Fly, Rock Slide, and Sword Dance. This thing's an absolute beast. If I can set up a Sword Dance, it's pretty much gonna be game over. This thing's gonna be able to rock out and dominate the battle. Bottom left corner, a Pokemon that has been really, really strong in this game, but hasn't seen the light in a little bit, so I'm very hyped to use Butterfree again. Butterfree has compound eyes and focus as you can put like anybody to sleep with sleep powder. It has rage powder as well. We can tailwind set up and it has hurricane. And like I said, it is Gigantamax too. So we can uh, G max it and roll off from there. Then in the final spot is Draco fish right here. Strong draw, choice band, nothing more you guys really need to know about it. We're just going to go into some fishes runs and dominate it. it. has other moves like rock quest, outrage, and ice fang, but pretty much fishes runs the name of the game with that Pokemon. But guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, mental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this squad. First battle coming at you guys. This guy has a pretty solid team right here, but he also has Golurk. And I don't think I've ever seen Golurk on the ranked ladder, so that's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty fun. I wonder what he does. Does he set Trick Room? Does he, can he, like, imprison it? Kind of looks like he has something crazy going on here. But do I have to roll Trick Room here? I kind of want to. kind of do want to roll a Trick Room. I do have the Focus Session on Butterfree, so I could put Pokemon to sleep. But I want to play it that way. I can either go Trick Room or I can roll out a different way. I do have Intimidate, which is really good. I just want to go like Butterfree into the Lando. Turn one. And then Indeedee into Dracofish. Maybe not even roll Trick Room. I kind of like this. I am digging this. I am digging this a lot. No Rhyperior could be an absolute. Looking at this, Rhyperior can dump on a lot of these guys. Do I go with the Trick Room? Let me go with the Trick Room. Let's withdraw all these guys. Get out of here. All you guys out of here. We're going to go with uh, Dusk Ops and Indeedee. We're going to bring Rhyperior. And then in the final spot, do I just bring Draco Fish as our back end? He's pretty fast. He can do work. Butterfree can come in here as well. It's either Lando or Draco. Um, hmm. I just think Draco just comes in. Draco is just so good all around. Just comes in, cleans up. Doesn't work. I'm liking it. I'm liking this. But we're going to try to roll out Trick Room here. Try to get buzzing with that one. We have been playing really, really good on the right ladder. The last video, I think we went... One and two, we ended up getting two losses, but before that, we were going like three and oh and two and one for a good bit. But the last thing we did use was very, very off meta. We were using like Tentacruel, Clefable, like it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Pseudo Voodoo was on the team as well. But it goes Tokus and uh, Tornadas. All right, what you want, fool? You don't want the smoke? We're gonna go Clops and NGD. Um, he can follow me, he can set up a down one. He does have Taunt. He does have Taunt. He, he, he does have Taunt too. Chilly fine. Um, I can't fake out easily. And. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna fake out this Tornadus and I am gonna set up a trick. Let's play. He might try to flinch me. He's definitely gonna he's definitely rocking taunt on the Tornadus. But indeed dubitably over here is going to roll fake out. He's probably he's probably a little confused because he's like, okay, this thing didn't drop a second surge and it has fake out. I actually do like that. I actually do like that. That's something gonna pop here. So Trick Room is gonna be able to get out pretty pretty easily here. That is lovely. Uh, I can swap. I can totally swap. I could swap it to the right period if I really want to. Uh, I think I just start dropping like psychics and stuff. Start doing damage all around. Thunder Punch. Uh, do I Thunder Punch over there? This thing could be uh, a Togekiss could be weakness policy, so I really don't want to. I really don't want to go after it. We're not just gonna protect. Oh, yo, you little biscuit, man. You little biscuit. Thunder Punch can come out here, block. 
Oh, dude, double. Dude, got it. You got both of them. You know, I should throw maybe a burn on Tokus, but the Tokus is just scaring me. He's gonna go for another Dazzling Beam. That's fine. Um, hmm. How do I roll here? I'm, I'm, I am still going to double up on that slot. I am still going to double up on that slot. I don't see him switching out. I really don't see him swapping out. I could heal, always heal Pulse next turn, which I might do. Try to keep this Dust Cops alive a little bit longer. But what are you going to do, kind sir? I am going to need a Trick Room. I am 100% going to need a Trick Room. Tokus is going to protect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, protect Tokus. That's fine by me. I like that turn. I think this thing is going to taunt. Which is totally fine. So we're taunted. And I'm going to be able to drop a Thunder Punch. I'm going to start trying to take this thing out. Here we go. Big damage there from my boy. I think he's going to come out here. As long as he doesn't talk to Dust Cops, I'm totally fine. Oh, okay, take KO. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's dead. Um, I got a wolf from here. Really want the what's called out here. The Rhyperior. I do have Pain Split, so if I need some HD back, we can't get it back. Uh, who's going to drop now? Might be my fault in this game. This is not being able to get out this trap here. Oh my god, what's called is gonna die here? I cannot follow me. Um, how many turns left in Trick Room? That's the real question. We have two. If I go for a Psychic here, I can't do any damage to that thing. I'm gonna go for a Psychic over on this slot. I am gonna see if I can get off this Will of Us. If I can get off this Will of Us, that's good. Try to burn this thing. Let's try to give him a burn. Oh, he's gonna come out here. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. The second case is gonna drop over on this other slot. Sucker Punch is gonna come through, and yes, yo, you're failing. Lewis is gonna clutch up. Yeah, you... I have to roll Trick Room next turn. I have to roll, not this turn, the next turn. Is my what's called almost done? I think he's trying to get me maybe the Thunder Punch and KO him, or Rock Policy. We got a burn, doing a little bit of damage, but I would love to get off another Trick Room. Trick Room still has one more turn, right? Hmm. Here comes Souls one more turn. I think we just, uh, I can't heal Pulse, yeah. I'm taunted. Wait another turn. I'm just gonna go for a Psychic here. No, I am gonna go for, yeah, I am gonna drop a Psychic over onto this slot. And I am going to, uh, try to throw another burn on the search field. If he doesn't follow me, then the burn's gonna be huge for us. The follow me's gonna come back out. That's totally fine. Like I said, it's totally fine. Hopefully he goes for maybe another Sucker Punch. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for a Sucker Punch, but on my Indeed side. Which is, that's fine by me, to be honest. I get out my right period, so now I'm posing a threat on that. And I can protect. He does hit through protect, but he will not hit through a max guard. Okay, so I have to go for a triple. He knows I'm gonna go for a triple. Where do I get out, Draco? Can't get out Draco. Draco's not a bad he's not a bad mon here. Right period just poses that bigger threat. Now we are gonna get out right period. I am gonna dynamax right period here. I'm gonna Dynamax Trap here and drop a rock. That's definitely gonna be the play. Pose that big uh, rock threat right here. I could knuckle. I could totally knuckle here. Get that attack boost, but we are gonna uh, set the stance one. I'm gonna take out Tokus, and I am just gonna drop a Trick Room. That's definitely gonna be the play. This is a longer match. So I should have tried to get my right period out a little bit earlier in the match. But if we can get off one more Trick Room, that should be game. Hopefully, he's choice if he's choice in a Sucker Punch, that's GG's. I'm hoping he's choice, and he's not Dynamax, and that's wonderful. He's not Dynamax, he's saving that thing. So he is going to attack. If I get, like, like I said, if I get off a Trick Room, it's, it's game over. The Sand Buff is going to take off the Sash of the Earth Shield. I'm guessing it's Sash. Most of those are. Uh, he might protect. He might protect, and that would be, that would be decent for him. Do what he does. He's going to go for a Sucker Punch over onto him. That's totally fine. That means Klopski who's chilling here. Unless you get the flinch. Oh, no. Don't you dare get the flinch, Klops. Show him what's up. Show him what's up. Rockfall's coming out here, though. The Buffet's onto that, uh... Buffet's on that Earth Food. Toe Kiss is on. That's enormous. That's enormous. And then I can totally burn up next turn if I get off this trick room. I cannot flinch. I cannot flinch. And this just shows that uh, the Earth Food is choice into the Sucker Punch, which is huge for us. And of course, of course, of course he flinches, right? Of course he flinches. I mean, I guess I'll go for another Trick Room, because Urshfu is just going to suck a bunch. I'm really not worried about that Urshfu. I'm worried about this. This is what I'm worried about. Synergies. Uh, he might change his steel. Let me change his steel. Um, do I guard here? I think I guard you, right? 
thing. You know what? He might change his steal, if anything, right? I'm gonna quake. I'm gonna quake over on the slot. And I am going to, again, try to get off another trick room. That's the play. We still have what's called in the back. That flinch might have just won him the game. I have to go for a trick room. I was gonna guard. I was gonna guard, but I, th I think we should be fine. Like, well, like I said, once we get off this trick room, we, we should be buzzed. And he could proc weakest possible. He does go first, so he's definitely dynamaxing. I don't see him taking out my rep here, even with the sucker punch and the Cinderace's move. I think we're fine here. I just want this trick room up and rolling. Like, I need it now because Cinderace is so fast. Come on, baby. What you want? He wants a big old rabbit. Big old rabbit over here. I love the second evolution's name, Raboot. Sucker punch coming out here. Like I said, this thing's choice. Sucker punch now. And he's going to change the dart. And he is going to take out my what's called. He's going to take out my death flops. Right. That's fine. Later flops. At least I went for it. At least I did not guard. At least I didn't guard. I was thinking of guarding with my uh, my rep here. He's going to drop our special defense. I poor special defense. I'm going to boost it back up. Even though it really does nothing. And there's he's going to take some life orb damage. And we're going to come across with a quick. We're coming across with a quick, baby. Get him out. Do some damage. Good work. Alright. Decent damage there. Uh, what do I think he goes to now? Steel? I go to steel, but if he goes to steel, I think I just, uh, I think I just what's called into him now. He might guard. I'm going to Fish's Man over on the Earth slot. And then I'm going to, uh, Quake over into the uh, other slot. I think that's the play. Let's Quake in here. And then, we're gonna drop Fish's Man over onto the Earth field. Do we outspeed it? We are choice banned. I don't know if we're gonna be able to outspeed Earth. Why why was I saying this thing is sash when I when I know it's choice? It's choice ban as well. There's a sucker punch in, out the wazoo. But sucker punch comes out here. I'm gonna be able to eat. Next airstream comes out here. I'm gonna change typings. Oh my lord. We should drop the rock. No way. No way. No way! Dude, he just do that? Did he just do that to me? Yo, he just did that to me. He just outplayed me hard there. He just outplayed me hard and switched to air typing. Bro. He outplayed me hard there. Okay. Uh, does he guard? He might guard. No, 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 no. He just won this one. Oh, he just outplayed me hard, man. That's GG's. Uh, I can protect. I can't go for Rockside. I think Rockside's gonna be high the play. This one's over, man. Actually, I'd rather EQ at this point. It has no effect, but there's no way he's going into an airstream. There's no way he goes into an airstream. That's that's my thing. Right? There's no way he stays there. I have to be able to eat up, but no, that's game, dude. That is game. Dude, he just won it off of a very smart play, so I give it to him. I'm just saying, if he does if he does an airstream say he just takes out my drinker, I take out Cinerace, it's a 1v1 situation, and I have this one clean up with our issue. Oh man! Back stuff coming out here. Yeah, that's G. That's GG. Unless, unless we somehow eat this up. Unless we somehow eat this up. Let's see. Yeah, not a chance. Not a chance. We go 0-1. Starting off with a decent battle, but that guy just had some nice plays at the end, which gave him the win. Let's get after it. This guy has a Trick Room team alongside with Glacier and then Tapu Fini, Lando, all that good stuff. I'm going to go with Butterfree. Got to get ourselves our first win here. I'm going to lead the Butterfree. And do I lead Lando? Lando's not a bad lead, but at the same time, he has a lot of other Pokemon, so I think I'm going to need the Draco Fish and try to get rolling with that. So we'll go Draco. Um, I want Lando in the back. And then final spot, Ndidi, just to come in here, pester, follow me, maybe heal up, all that good stuff. Or do I roll right here just in case he rolls a Trick Room? But the thing is, I don't see him getting off a Trick Room on me. I have Butterfree. I have Draco Fish. I can roll out strong. I can roll out real strong. I put Pokemon on sleep. He has no follow me. Um, yeah, I'm with this. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day, baby. Let's get it. Butterfree for the win. I haven't used Butterfree in so long. Last time I used Butterfree, I used it. was like a Butterfree Charizard team. And that was one of my favorite teams I ever used. And that was like back in like Series 2. Like when this game first came out. And I was first getting into competitive. Like I remember Butterfree was OP. It would legit sleep powder, sleep powder, sleep powder. And then it has compound eyes, so it's not missing. And then usually you would either throw it with the sash or the, uh, what is it? The scope lens? 
it's not missing its sleep and it's so dang fast it's outspeeding mostly everything especially if you have like a tailwind pokemon too alongside of it it's like game over but now since the meta is a little bit faster this new pokemon was quicker kind of took out butterfree but i still love this pokemon it's so awesome and it has a g max form so that's an another plus for it let's see what he rolls out into it goes grimmy and lando and does grimmy have fake out that's the real question does grimmy have fake out in that case um hmm. In that case, he is going to intimidate me, but I still feel like a Fishes Rand is going to be able to do some nice damage. Fishes Rand, yeah. I can't Tailwind. I can't go for Sleep Powder. Uh, la 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 la. I try to go for Tailwind. I get off a of Tailwind. We're buzzing. And I'm just going to go for a Fishes Rand over on the Lando slot. I think he's going to fake me out. That's the thing. Oh, he's just dying maxing. So I could have put that thing to sleep. He's going to drop a lot. I could have just put that thing to sleep. That's rough, man. Unless he's, unless he's faking out, that's the real question. Hopefully he doesn't go for the rock drop. He's got to be going for the rock drop, right? Or he could be going for an airstream. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. We have fake out kind, sir. He does. Yeah, so Butterfree's going. Butterfree is dead. Airstream's going to come out. He's going to start boosting speed. It's tough for see, we'll see you later, Butterfree. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. See, that, that would be another reason why... Uh, Having Indeedee with the Psychic Surge would be huge, considering I could just uh, roll into the Psychic Surge. He can't fake me out with that. And we could just roll out with there. Fish Rant's going to pop here. Do some nice damage. Some nice, nice damage there. He is boosted on the speed board. Um, I got to get out my Indeedee. And I guess maybe just follow me and kind of wait this one out till Lando comes in. Right? I feel like that's what. I could fake you out. I could fake out Grimstarl. I'd rather just follow me here. I just played safe. Go follow me. Into the fish's run. Try to take out Lando. That Lando's gotta go. He's 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 dying maxing. He's starting to speed boost all that good stuff. Go follow me is gonna come out here. Hopefully he doesn't guard. That that'll be a big fight by him to guard. But I don't think he's got the moxie to do it. The flex coming out here. Smart play. He actually might be able to eat up now. He might be able to eat up now. He goes to Flutterby. He's gonna drop special attack. And, oh no, he rocked the Flutterby. He's crazy. He's huge rock the Flutterby. Okay, so. Lando needs to go now. I need I need to get out my Lando. You need to get out my Lando. Special attack dropping. I don't think we're gonna be able to KO here. Let's see. Go ahead, do it. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Yo, you rock. Draco Fish, you rock. Good work. Good work, Draco Fish. Alright, so now my Lando comes out here. I have Dynamax still, which is huge. He has a reflect up, which is all. But Intimidate's gonna rock out here as well. Intimidate is gonna rock out here as well. Um I'm trying to think speed wise. I'm really not worried about that Grimstrong too much. I'm gonna go Glacier. I'm gonna go Glacier. Glass. I'm gonna get some Glass out here. And I think I have to double up him. Yeah, we're Dynamax. We do get an Intimidate off on that. Pretty nice. And, um, I don't really see him, uh... He could guard. He could protect here. I could just drop a good old Rock. Dance one. The Quake as well. But I think I'm gonna drop a Rock onto this thing. I think I just double up into it. I think I just double up in the Glacier. He, he poses such a big threat. And I really don't feel like dealing with it. Even though it's intimidated, everybody knows it's so strong. And Gripstar is not really posing anything too big here. Like, I get it. It has Reflect, Light Screen, Fake Out. I'm guessing it has Light Screen. And then probably an attacking move like Spirit Break. But I, I feel like we're sitting pretty good here. We got Lando Dynamax. His Dynamax Pokemon's gone. We tried We tried going Butterfree. If I would've... I mean, he had Fake Out, so that was huge. I'm gonna be able to rock fall here. I could air soon get the speed boost, but I want the rock fall. Rock fall is gonna do big damage. Um, what's called should be able to clean this one up. I'm thinking Draco Fish should be able to pick up this KO, no problem. The Draco Fish is gonna be able to outspeed him, do damage before him. He's gonna spear break, and we should be able to eat that up. But Draco Fish is is eating up. And then that's just gonna drop a special attack. I don't care what physical. And like I said, Fish's Ranch should be able to come in here and finish this thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love to see it. Alright, so Glacier gone. Not bad second battle here for Jeans. Buffets are coming out on everybody except for my uh, Lando, which is fine. Lando's going to be the one to kind of win this. So we know another Spirit Break isn't going to KO us. And we know we have two more turns left in Dynamax. So, and oh. Oh! Oh! That's who we wanted. That's who we wanted. Um, in that case, I am going to actually Max Quake over on this slot. And I am going to... Vicious Man over on the left side. That's the play. 
That is the play. Can't go for a quake over onto him. I have to drop a rock onto him. No way he's ally switching or anything like that. Um, he might protect. That's why I didn't go with him on Lando. I'd rather just pose that threat with the Fish's friend. But we're looking pretty good here. That's This is looking like a victory for your boy. Even though Butterfree went down early on in the beginning, Draco Fish was able to come out here, clean up that early Dynamax from him. And then we take control with our Dynamax and kind of run this battle. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see what he does. He just doesn't do anything. Quick's gonna come through. Boost our special defense, which is huge. Maybe take out the Grimmy. Does not. Um, I don't think he takes me out. I think we're, we're driving here. I thought he was gonna pick out, to be honest. We have a special defense boost now. Spirit Break is not going to take us out. Let's see what he does. E Bolt's gonna come through here. Now a Spirit Break. Oh, oh. It's a para. It's a little, it's a little annoying. Get a Spirit Break on me? Yeah. And now we're dead. Okay, so we're dead here. Uh, do I just drop the rock onto the Rotom? I think I just dropped the rock on the Rotom. We are special defense boost, which I really, really like. Alright, now we just dropped the rock onto the Rotom. Have the, have the buff and start doing work up against the Rift Snarl. Let's roll. Rock fall, baby! Or is he gonna protect? Nah, I, ha I have to drop this rock onto him. Yeah, we outspeed him, so we're, we're thriving here. Rock fall's gonna take him out. He's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. See you later, pup. See you later, pup. That's GG. That is GG, yo. Your boy's coming back. We're sitting now one and one. Well, we will be. Unless, I don't even know, we missed three attacks in a row. That's the only way. I think we have to miss like three attacks in a row. There's not a chance we miss three attacks in a row. I'm gonna just drop an EQ on this. And Buffets have to like two more turns. <laughs> but no, we're gonna go one and one here. We can hop to our third and final battle and look for that winning record after I finish this one up. Let's clean up. I love Lando's typing. I like how he's uh, I like how he's flying. He's ground and flying, so he can't get hit by ground moves or electric moves. It's just beautiful. Third and final battle, looking for that winning record for the Jeans Online Gaming. I'm on it, baby. Looking for it for you guys. Let's get after this. Guy's got Grimmsnarl, Hatterene, Primarina, Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Nihilego. Pretty strong team right here. Um, I want Draco Fish. I do want Draco Fish. I'm going to try to get Butterfree bouncing here. I got I to gotta watch out for Magic Bounce on Hatterene, so I cannot just put that thing to sleep and kind of go from there. I mean, if he does get off Trick Room, like, how is he going to roll if he Trick Room? It seems decently speedy. I'm going to go Butterfree. Look for a little bit of sleeps. He'll go Lando. I don't want to go Draco, but I could go Lando. We go in D doobly. I could also die. I do a fake out as well. I'm gonna go U2. I am gonna bring uh, Lando and Draco. I think that's the play. I think this is the play call. We get buzz in here. Let's get rolling. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think who he's gonna lead. And I'm wondering what the Hatterene is doing. Is that Hatterene really there for a trick room? It's just there for something else. It might trick room and be able to roll out with itself. But I really want to try to show off butter for here. I'm, I, try, I want to try to get off of like maybe one or two sleeps. Maybe Dynamax him depending on how this match goes. Because I do have his move. And what does his move do? It like, can put people to sleep. It can do it can like put people to sleep or paralyze them. Something along those lines. But depending on who he goes out into, I might just Dynamax or Gigantamax uh, the Butterfreeze right off the rip. And get buzzing with that one, but yeah, I'm loving this team right now. It's a lot of fun. First battle, like I said, uh, guy, the other opponent just made some good plays, winning the game. Switch to Max Airstream, save his Cinderace. That was huge, but he's gonna go Grip Snarl and Hatterene. Um, okay, Remy Poo and Hatterene's gonna come out here, and I'm gonna go Butterfree and indeed, doubly. And in that case, I could, I could, this just G Max, but the thing is, he only has Airstream. Wish I had like a G Max move. Just sleep out onto the Grimmsnarl. And just fake you out. Oh, yeah, supply. That enemy might be going for the Trick Room. And I, I gotta remember, I cannot put that thing to sleep. I think G Max Butterfree doesn't have its move, and I'm just realizing that now. But we're not gonna G Max him here. Go for a fake out. In my little collapses. He's gonna taunt my Aviti. Okay, cool. Cool. I thought you were gonna taunt my, my best friend over here. My Butterfree. Good work, Butterfree. Yo, get to sleep, yo. Take your NyQuil, man. Get out of here. You want to taunt on my NDD. Taunt on my NDD like that. Are you serious? Hattering Flinch just can't move. Let's get after him. Um, do, I tr do I go for the Hurricane? That's what I'm going to do, actually.
Nah, we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna double up. So we are gonna swap. Swap in the Draco here. We're gonna swap in the Draco here. I know I cannot put that thing to sleep. I'm gonna swap in the Draco here. I'm sorry, I was slumped. What a freak. Land this hurricane, please. Yes, sir. Give him the ducks. Give him the ducks. Show me the quacks. Yes, sir. Butterfree. Let's get it. Hit yourself, Hatterene. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Hurt yourself. Woo. Woo. Yo, you love to see that. You love to see that. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to set up a tailwind all dang day. And I'm going to put Fisher's Man over on this Hatterene slot. Oh, now we're buzzing. Yo, the boys are buzzing. What's this thing going for? Protect? He's going to go for protect. That's fine. That's fine. We are going to be able to get, get off the tailwind. I'm sorry, wakes up. That's totally fine. He's going to set up a reflect. A little reflect. We're going to be able to get off the tailwind here. And I'm going to put Grimstar back to sleep and say, yo, Grimstar, yo, go back to bed. I'm sick. Yo, <laughs> dude, Butterfree buzzing out here. <laughs> Butterfree ain't playing no games. Butterfree is out here to play today. All right, cool. Now, yo, we're going to be going. Grimmy, get over here. Let's put you to sleep. We got this rolling. Vicious Ren should be able to take this out, no problem. Even with the reflect through it. No trick room for you, man. Is that where you were going for? We faked you out and we had that other thing? Oh, uh, you want to taunt me? That's cute. That's cute. I'll swap over for next turn. I don't No sleep out after taunts, but fish ring come through here. Uh, get him out of here. Get him out of here. All right. But you are now taunted, Butterfree. So I should swap you. Maybe you, because you do have your sash, though. We can't get in DD out here. You know, Primarina. That's totally fine by me. Um... And in that case, we swap. And I try to get off as much damage as I can. I'm gonna go right after this Grimstar here. I am taunted. I am taunted out here. He's probably just gonna Moonblast me, take me out. He's gonna die in a minute. Okay. Uh, this is tough, actually. The way out of this one is going to be take out uh, what's called right here. Actually, no, no, no. The way out of this, we need to get rid of Grimstar. We need to get rid of Grimstar. And say we don't KO this Grimstar right here with a Fisher's Ren, which we might not. Probably not because he has a Reflect up. We're going to have to follow me next turn with our Butterfree. Put the Primarian to sleep and roll off from there. Fisher's Ren's going to come out here. I don't think it's KO with a Reflect up, right? Yeah. No, it's not. All right, so Starfall's going to come out here. He's dead. So play is going to be... To put the Primarina sleep. Play is gonna go be going to follow me. Put Primarina to sleep. Oh, can we put Pokemon to sleep in the Misty Terrain? Um, I'm trying to. Or is that that's only Electric Terrain, right? It's only Electric Terrain. Should be able to put him to sleep, right? I believe so. I believe so. I believe it's just Electric Terrain. Uh, let's see the Terrain. What's it say? Five turns, Pokemon on the ground. Oh, yeah, okay. So, no, we cannot put him to sleep. That's rough news. That really is rough news. So, we can actually fake out you. And I think I'd rather Rage Pound here, right? Hey, I mean, maybe we can get Ducks on this thing. Or I'd rather take out the Grimstarl, you know? Let's try to take out the Grimstarl. Let's try to take out the Grimstarl. We'll fake out. Butterfree outspeeds. Come on, land this. Land it. Love you, Butterfree. Butterfree's on the money with Hurricanes today. Ain't playing around. Give him the ducks. Give him the ducks. No ducks. I don't know. if this ducks consider a status condition? I think it might. So, here goes the rain. This thing's buzzing. This thing's hitting hard. Okay. It's a crit. That's why. Okay. That dang terrain right there. That dang terrain pulled my planes. Alright, so Citrus Berry out here. Um... It might taunt me. See, I do not want a taunt. I'm gonna follow me here. And the Hurricane's gonna hit 100% of the time. I'm just gonna go after the Grimstarl. Hopefully he goes for a taunt on my Butterfree and it slides over to my... my Ndidi. That's what I'm hoping, and the Primarina just takes out Ndidi and then there goes his turn to get out Lando. Hurricane comes out first anyway, people. Get mad here. All right, so Grimstarl gone. Ndidi's gonna be gone. Hurricane's hitting 100% of the time, which is, that's huge for us. 
We outspeed. I'm gonna get out my boy uh, Lando. I'm gonna start special defense boosting as well. But I really, really like this. So this thing's really not boosted. It just has its terrains and all that stuff out here, which is totally fine by me. Butterfree's been, he's been doing good. He's been buzzing here. He just can't do his sleep right now, which is fine. He still has his sash fully up. He's hitting 100% of the time with the hurricanes. So it really depends who, he, who he's bringing out as his final mod. Hopefully it's a physical attacker so Intimidate does a little bit of work on something. It is going to be instant roll. He is going to be able to go with a fake out and roll from there. Um, in that case, who do I do damage to? I'm going to see a double Intimidate come out here. Double Intimidate come out. We are sashed. He is going to fake out probably on my Butterfree. That's probably because he's going to be like, alright, he's dying. What do I Swords Dance? <laughs> Good Swords Dance, but I don't think that's fly. I think we just Dynamax. Uh, do I change the weather up? Yeah, rather Quake just into Incineroar. Get that stab, get that special defense boost. I could just Rage Cloud just in case. Uh, I'm actually just gonna go for a Hurricane over on the Primarina slot. Hmm. He's got he's got to figure out my Butterfree, right? I was gonna read the Sword Dance. But I think that's really risky because I think he's going to fake out and go into my Butterfree slot. That's what I really think he's going to do. So if he fakes out and goes into my, my Butterfree slot, I could have Sword Dance out. That's what my head was thinking. But And then I was like, let's make this the easy play and go from there and just Dynamax and go for a Max Quake. Because we can get that stab super effective and we can get the special defense boost. But the risky play was what I just said. It's legit. Let's Sword Dance this thing. Let's see if it would have worked. Because I'm thinking in my head it's going to work. But obviously, usually in Pokemon, if you make the simple plays, you'll usually win instead of trying to get like some crazy reads. Let's see. There's the fake out, yo. I, <laughs> I probably could have Swords Dance up. Let's see what happens here. So I would have Swords Dance there. Let's see what would have happened. Here's my Quake. We get a special defense boost. And we do not take out Incineroar. Is this thing Sash? Or is it just super lucky? He's just super lucky. What you mean? You do get a special defense boost, which I like. And what is he going to go for here? Of course, he's doing super lucky. Let's see what happens here. Butterfree punches. I'm gonna go for Ice Beam. Well, good thing I didn't do that. We eat too. So you get lucky, I get lucky. Uh, we're going to Quake again. Put over on the U. Ice Beam's doing a lot of damage. I'm gonna double up into Primarina slot. I do not see Primarina protecting at all. I really don't see Primarina protecting. I need another special defense boost. If he doesn't protect, we should be we should have this game pretty much wrapped up here. Alright, nice. The Quake should do a decent amount and then Hurricane should be able to clean it up, right? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We are plus two on special defense now. But well, my butts are free. My butt had free. Mm. Oh my god, I just killed myself. Oh my god, I forgot about Life Orb. No, I, no we would have lost regardless, I think. We would have lost regardless. Unless Butterfree picks up the KO here. It's a crit or something. No, Ducks? I don't think we get Ducks in here. Ice Beam's gonna come out. I don't like that. Eat it up. We eat. You gotta miss, buddy. You gotta miss. Just oh, oh, wait a minute. He goes for a Will of Wisp. Just for a will of this. Is there a way out of this? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Is there a way to win this? Dude, if Incineroar goes down that turn, we won. But he survives on one? Bro, we had some good battles there. We're going to lose this one. Uh, unless... Unless Incineroar misses. Unless he misses out here. Let's see what happens. Oh, he already protects Primarino. This hurricane's hitting 100%. Unless he, I need him to miss. That's the only way. I got this one. I got this. Beep, beep, beep. Send in missing signals. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. I, my signals. Yeah. They got they got cut off. So someone was interfering with the communication. Did not work. But bro, dude. Incineroar surviving on one just won in the game. That's crazy. Solid battles today. Shout out to Swift VGC for dropping this team. I absolutely love it. Something about it was amazing. I guess using the Butterfree after a while. It was tons of fun. It was awesome. The first battle, 
we played pretty decent. It's just the guy made an amazing move with Cinderace at the end, which gave him the win. Second battle, we called our dub for today's video in that one. And then third and final battle was super, super close. He legit won because of one HP on an Incineroar. And the Misty Terrain did help him out a lot as well because we couldn't put anything to sleep. And if he didn't have that terrain, we were just going to sleep it up and catch that easy victory. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock. Make sure you guys spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.